work today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Night like this, your family is sleeping peacefully. Suddenly, a fire breaks out on Quadrant 3. Flames engulf the corridors. Who will wake us up in time? Who will drag us to safety? No one, Mom. And why? Because we don't have a pet. And that is why I want you to say yes. Aw, oh, that won't work. Maybe I should try a more emotional approach. Please, 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 give me a pet, please! Lloyd? Ah! Oh, it's just you, Station. I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing up here? Practicing. Practicing? For what? To ask my mom for a pet. See, yesterday, I was coming home from school when I saw they got these cool new pets at the pet store. Check them out. Oh, goodness. That's an armored Tyconian python. Yep, just what every kid needs. But i got to figure out just how to ask my mom if I can have one. Otherwise, she's going to say no for sure. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Lloyd. Your mother's a very reasonable woman. Simply explain your rationale, and I'm sure she'll be happy to get you a pet. You really think so, Station? Trust me, Lloyd. It simply cannot fail. No. No, 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 no. But, Mom! so cool! They can catch their prey in midair and swallow it before they even land! Look, Lloyd, I've had to flush too many pets of yours into deep space because you forgot to feed them or change their water or keep them properly irradiated. Please, Mom! I'll do better this time, I swear! I'm sorry, Lloyd, but you're just too irresponsible to own a pet. The answer is no, and that's final. Now please eat your breakfast and get ready for school. <sighs> hey, Lloyd, don't feel so bad. I know how you can find a really freaky animal without even going to the pet store. Really? How? Just look in the mirror! <laughs> so? So? What did she say? When are you getting the Tyconian python? I suggest you choose ever so carefully. Temperamental Tyconians have been known to turn on their masters. Can I name him, Lloyd? I think Fluffy would be nice. Sorry, guys, but there's not going to be any flying python. No cool names, no feeding it quirk rats. No tying a rope to it and letting it drag us around the park. My mom says I'm too irresponsible. Ooh, that's harsh. <laughs> irresponsible? Why, I'm the most responsible kid I ever met! Science projects are due next Wednesday. What? We were responsible for science projects? When did she tell us that? A month ago. About the same time you were reading that Nick Zircon comic book in class. Now, everybody's been working on their science projects at least an hour a day, right? Yes, Mrs. Bolt. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, man, I gotta come up with a project. What are you guys doing? Well, I thought this year it might be fun to create my own white dwarf star. Good, good, but how long does it take to make one of those? I began my design phase approximately 17 months ago. 17 months? I don't have that much time. Well, you could always try something like this. Mmm, salty. Thanks, Eddie. An anti-gravity beam generator? How'd you come up with that? Bought it off a ninth grader. Oh, man, a dwarf star? An anti-gravity device? I'm doing a potato clock. See? It's 12.15. Jeez, everybody in class has a project except me, and I've only got till Wednesday. What am I gonna do? Well, Lloyd, you could always fall back on the old scientific standby. The mold experiment. The mold experiment? What's that? Allow me to demonstrate. You see, mold comes from spores, which are like seeds floating in the air all around us. Tonight, before you go to bed, simply put out a petri dish containing a nutritious growth medium, or food in layman's terms. Then wait. Soon, a mold spore will land in your dish. In time, that invisible spore will grow into a visible mold. That's it? It just becomes a mold? Well... Yes. Oh, man, that's the lamest science project ever invented by science. Well, maybe so, Lloyd. But at least you could get it done by Wednesday. Oh, well, I guess it's better than an F. I think it's a fascinating project, Lloyd. The miracle of life. The wonders of procreation.
Yeah, well, all I care about is that something lands in there and starts growing by tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm in big, big trouble. Night station. Good night, Lloyd. <laughs> Congratulations, Lloyd. Have some breakfast, you creepy stuff. See you after school. I'm telling you, Eddie, this mold thing is the easiest project ever. All I have to do is feed her a little food, copy a couple of pages out of the encyclopedia, and I'm done. Jeez, and it didn't even cost you a crontar. Nope, and you know what else? Before, I was worried about just getting a passing grade. But now, I'm thinking bigger. Maybe even... A B minus. Whoa! Well, see you tomorrow, Eduardo. Lloyd! Oh, Lloyd, thank goodness you're home! I've been waiting for you! Yeah, well, I stopped off at Junkie Mart on the way from school and bought myself a big lorp. We hard-working scientists have a thirst for more than just knowledge, you know. But Lloyd, there's been a problem. Something's gone terribly wrong. Oh, come on, Station. What could possibly go, huh? What happened to my mold? That's what I've been trying to tell you. I, I think it's dead. Oh, no! Oh, no! It can't be dead! Well, I could be wrong. Perhaps if you gave it more nutrients. More nutrients? Yeah, yeah! Good idea! <laughs> Perhaps a different sort of nutrient. Maybe something from the kitchen? The kitchen! Nutrients, nutrients. Francine's chewable vitamins! Durf, no good! Double Durf, still no good! Keep trying, Lloyd! Something's got to work! Oh, man, nothing worked! Perhaps a nice cup of... Chamomile tea? Oh, it's no use, Station. My mold is dead. And come Wednesday, when Mrs. Bolt finds out I don't have a project, I'm gonna be dead, too. Oh, Lloyd, I wish I could... Lloyd, look! Hey, my mold! It's not brown anymore! Look, Lloyd, I think some of your big lob dripped onto it. You don't think? Lorp somehow made it well. But how can that be? There's nothing nutritious about a big lorp. Why, it's chock full of artificial colors, chemical sweeteners, and who knows what preservatives. Frankly, I'm surprised your mother lets you drink those things. But maybe that's it. Maybe my mold doesn't like nutritious stuff. Maybe it likes junk food. Well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Yes, my friend, it is disgusting. But that is beautiful. Station, take a note. Recording. It seems the subject likes junk food, and lots of it. My mold is hungry, it's growing fast, and it's alive. I think it's gross. He's not gross, he's cool. You say this thing likes junk food? Yeah, watch! I've never seen anything like it. A mold that eats chips, and it has eyes. I wonder if it can think. Out of my way, I'll check. Well, it doesn't think a lie, but it thinks. Really? About what? More chips. Oh, sure. Amazing. Yeah, and you know what that means? That it's hungry? Nope. It means that I'm not just looking at a B minus anymore. I'm looking at an A. A A A A A A A A A A A A A. Mommy, please tell me I won't be like this when I'm in the seventh grade. I'm sorry, sweetie, but I can't make any promises. A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A
Hey, 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 hey. Uh, Lloyd, not that I don't appreciate the sentiment of your little ditty, but after an entire day, it's wearing rather thin. Oh, sorry, guys. It's just that my experiment is going so well, and my mold is so cool. He eats anything. Big lorbs, pizza, tendril snaps, anything bad for you. Today, I gave him a fried zork land covered with chocolate. He nearly doubled in size. Oh, come on, Lloyd. So your mold grew a little. So what? Whoa. Hey, Moldy! I call him Moldy. How you doing, boy? This fungus seems to be forming some sort of primitive attachment to you, Lloyd. Nothing wrong with that, is there, boy? Hey, look what he can do! Pretty cool, huh? I guess. Be even cooler if you lit the hoop on fire. Good boy! Lloyd, what is Moldy anyway? I mean, is he an animal? Or maybe some kind of fruit? Whatever he is, he sure is ugly. Hey, don't say that in front of Moldy. You'll hurt his feelings. Feelings? Lloyd, he's a mold. You sure you're not getting a little too buddy-buddy with that thing? <coughs> what was that? Poor Moldy, his stomach's growling. Uh-oh, and I'm out of chips. You sure can eat, guy. Hey, I got some chips at my house. Yes, I'm sure we have some, too. Hang on, Lloyd. We'll be back in a minute. Thanks, guys. I gotta admit, Lloyd, this thing's pretty cool. You just might get that A. You know, Eddie, I'm starting to believe getting an A is thinking too small. I'm starting to believe maybe I might win the whole darn science fair. Oh, come on, Lloyd. You've only been working on the thing for a couple of days. No, Eddie, I'm gonna win. And not only that, I think people are gonna say Moldy's the best science project in the history of Luna Vista Middle School. And for the best science project in the history of Luna Vista Middle School, our special jury award goes to Lloyd Nebula. <laughs> Congratulations, Nebulon. You actually managed to accomplish something. Thanks, Mrs. Bolt. Nobody even cares about my white dwarf star. Well, Lloyd, I've got to hand it to you. You really did a great job. Well done, Lloyd. You came up with a project, you stuck with it, and you got results. All thanks to that mold. Gee, thanks, Mom. And now that you're done, you can throw it away. Huh? Well, you don't need it anymore, and it is starting to smell up the house. Yeah, it's flushing time. What? I'm not gonna flush, Moldy. Lloyd, it's just a fungus. No, he's not. He's more than a fungus. He's an animal. He's a living, breathing thing. He's a... The pet I always wanted! What? That's right, he's my pet! And no one's gotta take him away! Come on, Moldy, let's go to our room! I didn't realize he felt that way. I did. So when do we flush it? Don't worry, Moldy. I won't let him get you. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they think. From now on, it's just me and you. A boy and his mold. Huh? Remember, stay on your newspaper. Mom will get mad if you leave slime on the rug. Moldy? What do you want? You're hungry again? But I already fed you dinner. Go to sleep. Oh, all right. But just this once. Always eating, always eating. Oh man, Moldy already ate everything. Well, maybe you'll like this tomato. There. Now go to sleep. Oh, nothing like a good night's sleep. Bet you feel a lot better now, don't you, Moldy old boy? Moldy? Uh-oh. Moldy, no! Please, Moldy, stop! If Mom sees us, we're gonna be in big, big trouble! Lloyd! What in the spiral arm of Galaxy Pipulac is going on in here? Mom, I, I can explain! Out of my kitchen! Out! Out! Get out! No, oh, please, no! Get out of here right now! That 
does it, Lloyd. We are getting rid of that mold. Oh, no, please, Mom. He won't be any more trouble, I promise. I tried to stop him, really, I did. But I'm afraid that Rowley has escaped. on level E. Activate sensors and vector this thing. I want to know where it's going now. Oh, okay. Mom, please tell me you're not going to hurt Moldy. I'm sorry, Lloyd, but it's my job to protect this station. But you can't. Uh, Commander Nebulon, it looks like the giant mold is headed for the main docking bay. I'll be there right away. Nebulon out. Bye. Lloyd, I'm sorry, but... Lloyd? Elevator. Where's it going? Uh, level A? The food court. And so, after 17 months of meticulous research, I actually managed to create a bona fide white dwarf star. It's a very impressive accomplishment, I'm telling you. Wow. Hey, did you guys hear about that big freaky mole that won the science fair? Now I figured that'd be something worth seeing. You okay, man? Moldy. Must help Moldy. Cool. I gotta stop him! Moldy, stop! You're gonna hurt someone! Caramel. He doesn't like caramel. He's going after Zeptars! Shoot, shoot! Get away from my restaurant, you big blob, you! <gasps> Our favorite eatery! Hey, hey, stay out of there! You there, connect the fungicide! You, give me full pressure on pump seven! Quickly, men, get into position! On my word, spray it! Mom, please don't spray moldy, please! I'm sorry, Lloyd, but that thing is putting the entire station in danger! Yeah, look what it's doing to my restaurant! It ate my crypto dog! And it ate my entire Mother's Day assortment of chocolate-covered parasites! Spray! That's the idea, Lloyd. Now get back. But, Mom, it's wrong. I mean, if I was in there, would you kill me? What are you talking about, Lloyd? Don't you see, Mom? I'm your child, and Moldy is like my child. I mean, maybe that's what having a pet's all about. It's like having a kid. You gotta feed it and clean up after it and protect it because you're responsible. And that's what you wanted me to learn, right? So, Mom, let me be responsible. Let me go in there and protect my child. We've got to move fast, Commander. That thing is growing at an incredible rate. Okay, Lloyd, I'll give you five minutes to bring that thing out. But, Commander... Five minutes, and that's it. Moldy? Oh, Moldy, I wish there was some way I could convince you. You've just got to stop this. If you don't, they're going to kill you. And that would be the worst thing ever. Not just for you, but for me. Because the fact is, Moldy, I love you. The five minutes are up, Commander. What do you want us to do? Look, they're coming out! You did it, man! I'm proud of you, Lloyd! 
indeed. But we've still got a problem, Commander. At the rate this creature eats, he'll deplete our entire food supply within days. He's right, Lloyd. Moldy can't stay here. I know, Mom, but what are we gonna do with him? Uh, excuse me. I believe I have an idea. It's a simple matter of research. All creatures originate from somewhere. Whoa. Planet of trans fatty acids. Looks yummy! You gonna be okay, honey? You know you're doing the right thing. I know, Mom. I know. <laughs> 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 